Today's meeting was part of a series that the Global Health Council has organized together with the Results for Development Institute uh, based here in Washington. And the question we were looking at is, how is it that we can understand why all of the billions of dollars that have been put into global health in the past many years haven't led to better improvements in health outcomes? The way in which foreign assistance and global health interact is very complex. Um, you know, there are dozens of countries to which, uh, which this help goes, uh, and uh, there are very complicated health systems uh, at the national level, the regional level, the local level. Uh, but in order to make sure that the money is being put to the best use and we're getting the most health for the money, uh, it's important to figure out whether communities are actually getting the services that the money is meant to be delivering uh, and whether they're being delivered as efficiently as possible. So there's a role for civil society organizations to play in going to the grassroots level and figuring out whether the programs that are designed usually at the national level are actually making their way to the people who need the help and who need the resources and, and the health interventions. Well, the audience was quite interested in the presentations that they heard, and I, I think they, they'll be able to get some practical results uh, or some practical perspectives on how to improve uh, global health delivery uh, by thinking about the examples that they had. Um, each of the organizations that presented today, as well as um, the commentator from the World Bank who works on these issues in the context of the International Health Partnership, uh, was able to present some specific examples of how they've been using um, analytical tools uh, to get some practical uh, insights into the way in which the money could be used better. Uh, and I think the audience uh, found that quite interesting and I'm sure they'll be interested to find out more information about each of the examples and how they can put it to use in their own work. Well, I think there's a real opportunity in, uh, in the future for the sort of information that these organizations um, have been generating uh, and it's part of a project that the Results for Development Institute has been managing since 2006 to help build capacity among civil society organizations to provide this kind of monitoring and accountability uh, for health systems in, in developing countries. Um, I think that that kind of insight of taking analytical tools and figuring out what practical import they can have for improving health delivery around the world uh, is really at the cutting edge right now of, of where we are in global health. I think the, the most memorable statement that was made uh, in the presentations today was uh, from uh, Donald Kabira from Uganda who said the change has to come from the people. Uh, and what he meant was that it's only by getting communities directly involved in delivery of the services that governments are making available uh, that we'll be able to get um, uh, the most efficient and the most effective use of, of those resources. So I think that um, perspective, uh, that communities are really the most important and critical component of uh, helping to improve global health is, is one that will stay with people.